Ugh. <laughs> 2011 MacBook Air. Gross. The worst of the worst. It beeps. All right, let's see if this is a RAM issue or a RAM solder ball issue or a... So the issue with stuff like this is it could be the PCH, the CPU, or the actual RAM solder balls, or the RAM. So if you replace the RAM and you take the time required to replace the RAM and it's not the RAM, you just wasted a lot of your time. And then you have to take those chips off and then you have to reball the originals and put them back on the board. So you've turned your... You could very easily spend an hour and a half on this and it not be fixable. And you put the chips that you spent 70 bucks on through an unnecessary heat cycle. So, RAM replacement on this old device is not economically viable. I bet Paul's going to do it when his beeps. Just out of stubbornness. Out of pure, pure stubbornness. He really does like his 2011 Air. It's an abomination to like a 2011 Air. He also has Windows 3.1 on his... Like, and he has a Windows phone. Luckily, we have a 12.7 millimeter nozzle that makes reflowing RAM a breeze. Oh, boo. You have 16 RAM chips, you piece of ch Oh, well. 16 RAM chips? Yeah, look at this air. <coughs> this air has more RAM chips than any of the RAMs I've seen, any of the airs I've seen before. That's fine. Wait, but airs can't have 16 gigs. It has to have 8. So then that means each of those is... Uh, look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I hate counting, but I'm pretty sure I didn't get that off. All right. So what we're going to do, first thing is add just a tiny bit of flux. So remember, you don't want to waste too much flux, especially since it's a 2011 Air. I'm also going to take this thing off in the bottom since it's just going to get burned off this little strip. What? The, the strip? Not the strip. Oh, you mean the trying to reflow the RAM on a 2011 MacBook Air? Yeah. Yeah, but I need to get I need a reason to get it out of the queue. If it just sits in the slot all day, then that's not going to do me any good. So, I don't know. I want to punch whoever took this. Probably Copas. You think it was Copas? I think he's fishing for a firing. Seems like he's fishing for a firing. This better not beep. This would be such a waste of good flux if you beep. All right. It's a lot of flux. That's quite a bit of flux. Huh? You know, that's more flux than I would even normally use, to be on if I'm being honest with you all. So... Let's get ready to rumble.
Coming in at 500 Celsius with 120 liters per minute of air. The quick 861DW at 12.7 millimeters. What the hell, let's get all that excess on the board too. Do keep in mind, the reason we do this is RAM is, these chips are not flip chip BGA design like a graphics chip, so reflow is acceptable. Reflow is not acceptable for flip chip BGA. Somebody says they wanted to see it from the overhead camera. What do you prefer? Over, you want to see this from the overhead camera, or do you guys want to see this from the microscope? Because the thing is, I got to look in the microscope to do this. That moved. Next chip. You moved. Next chip. Overhead cam sucks for the, that's waste. That one moved. That one moved. That one moved. Moved. So it doesn't really want to move. And last two. All right. All right, let's see what Intern's U8900 looks like compared to Copaz's U8900. Damn. Why did we hire Copaz again? 
Intern is kicking Kopaz's ass. Let's zoom in on. Wow. That is a perfect U8900. No ripped pads, no jumper wires needed, no bridging. Kopa. Ko who? What was his name? What was that guy's name again? Alice? Al. Al? Alan? Oh. Frank? <laughs> when you're getting your ass kicked by the intern. Plug in the screen. Actually, technically, all I gotta do is plug in the speaker for this. I don't know why I'm plugging in a screen. Maybe I'm getting a little too overly optimistic. Speaker? Speaker? You're going to plug in both speakers and this cable so that it knows to allow the speaker to function. And right now you're being a, I was almost being a store there for a moment. Damn near plug the DC in cable or the other wrong way around. Okay, now plug this thing in. Oh yeah, this is somebody put a quarter in there. What? Well, let's hear that sound again. Not that sound. Hit the right button. I mean the left button. The left, yeah. Yes, all of you have no faith. Let's wait for it to get to a question mark folder. Yeah. Yeah. 12.7 millimeter nozzle available on store.rossmangroup.com exclusively. Good luck finding that nozzle anywhere else. Actually, it's so exclusive right now, it's even out of stock on store.rossmangroup.com. But we're going to be getting more of them later. Check that out. We got a question mark folder. So all of you that in the chat that said it's probably going to beep instead of boot, works. So that is how you reflow the RAM on a MacBook Air that is beeping. And again, if the chip is bad, that will not fix it. Do not do this to a graphics chip. It won't work. But with, if it's not a flip chip design, there is a chance that the issue is in the solder balls, especially the way a lot of the customers decide to treat their MacBooks. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something.